Welcome to my page, everybody. This is Old School Icon. But my page says Old School 94 Icon. Now, for you, for those of you wondering, yeah, this is uh, Mr. WCWD Fan for Life. This is my new page. And um, I want to kind of get you guys to um, understand who I am and what I'm all about. Because this new channel is going to be everything, a completely new me, a new story to tell, a new world to conquer. And um, so without further ado, let me just say that uh, I want to talk about the big stuff, all right? First, we're going to cover Raw, the review, all right? Simple as that. And uh, we're going to cover my favorite finishers top five of all time just you know top three rivalries of all time and my favorite nitro moment of all time and I want to let you all know that this is not gonna be let's let's just put it this way I'm gonna be upfront with you people all right yeah I'm gonna be upfront and I'm gonna be truthful I'm gonna be the way I want to be and I'm not gonna change myself because of somebody else <laughs> all right I'm gonna Speak the truth on how I feel about wrestling, and uh, my opinion is what matters. Now, of course, you guys can give me feedback, like, share, comment, whatever. Give me ideas and anything you want to say. All right. But remember now, be polite, be nice. If I see something that I don't like, it's going to be gone. All right? Now, um, be respectful of others, too. When somebody has an opinion, you know, just let them have it, you know? But be nice about it. Don't, don't you, know, you know, just let it go, you know? And uh, so, let's get into a little subject here uh, my channel is all about brand new a feeling here this is all about me getting into the universe that you people that you guys already have and I'm gonna try to dig my way in to build my career on YouTube alright and um, if there's one thing that I know you know I think a lot of people on this YouTube universe they like to speak their mind and say what they say and they have reviews and rants and I'm gonna I'm gonna have rumors um, sometimes I'm gonna have opinion I'm gonna have spoilers sometimes I'm gonna have reviews rants um, favorite moments non favorite moments breaking news if I ever feel like if I ever have time for that breaking news type deal but not making any promises I'm going to tell it like it is and that's how I am and just to let you know I do like TNA a lot and of course and I will be honest I haven't watched TNA in a while in a couple of weeks I've been kind of like you know into Raw more so I mean that's that's something new ding 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 uh oh somebody's not telling the truth here are they because they you know be watching Raw well you know what both products are doing fine you know each one's got something to one up the other one you know no big deal so uh in that regard, um, I think uh, over time you guys can get acquainted with me, and then um, we'll go from there. But here's the deal. I want to let you know, straight off the bat, my Raw review is simple as this. I really enjoyed Raw. I was actually into it. I thought uh, Ryback coming in. Oh, by the way, if, it, if you guys haven't seen Raw by now, this is spoiler talk, so all right now. Ryback came in on an ambulance. It looked, it almost made you feel like, you know, Goldberg was joining Aces and Ace. <laughs> if you watch TNA, you, know, you would get the idea of the comment. And um, he was demanding, you know, saying that he's questioning uh, Cena's um, um, you know, persona, psyche, you know, saying that he can't handle it, whatever the case may be. And I thought that was kind of cool, you know. It, what he did was he just made it sound like... Um, made it sound like Cena is weak and you know better to, you know when you have a heel like that you gotta get heat somehow you gotta get heat and uh, in that case you gotta spice it up a little bit and I think Ryback's doing very good as a heel he's making Cena look weak because he has to now Cena is gonna be you know the way he is he's gonna rise up be the superhero guy that he is and come back strong and face him at uh, payback which is the next pay-per-view um, in an ambulance match and uh, Rob X is going to have no mercy for, you know, you know so um, that was a good showing. And uh, I, liked, uh, I liked the fact that they had a lot of good matches. Uh, 
And uh, I'm going to be completely biased here, people. I don't like Daniel Bryan, so if you don't like, if you love Daniel Bryan, then you're you're meeting a guy who does not like Daniel Bryan. And I know he's a great technical wrestler, and that's fine. But we all have our different opinions, and I don't like Daniel Bryan. So, boo. That's how it is, all right? And that's how it is, and I'm going to be truthful, and I'm going to just say what I say. So, the the whole idea, folks, is to legitimately speak the truth, no matter how much bluntness I'm going to throw at you. So, if you don't like the way I speak, find another page. If you don't like what I say, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm going to do my best I can to be the best fan I can on YouTube and try to make something happen out of this. Now, to get, get let's get back to Raw here. I like the fact that I had a lot of good matches. Very, very little talking. I think that's a good sign. But again, I give it, I mean, I give it a B for a good, a really good Raw. It could have been an A. Um, but I think, you know, with the way it's going, the main event here um, uh, was good. But let me get back a little bit to the very beginning. Apparently, we have a repackaged character here, and uh, if you guys are familiar with McGillicuddy, he was repackaged as Curtis Axel. Axel by grandfather name, and then Kurt to represent his father, Kurt Henning. Now, I don't know why they didn't go with just Joe Henning, but maybe they just want to make a new path for his character, and that's fine. You know, he's got the remix for his father, so that's cool. Um, but I like that as uh, being new client for Paul Heyman. I like that. Very smooth, very good. Um, it looks like, from the most part, that this could be something of a, pu a really good push for um, formerly McGillicuddy and uh, Curtis Axel. So let's see where that goes. Um, I expect Raw next week to be really good. I mean, I expect you know uh, SmackDown to be interesting, but I'll have to see what SmackDown's like, and also Impact. But I won't be able to review Impact right away either, so I'll have to get back on that. So stay. My channel is for everything that I can basically watch that I can keep up with. Raw, SmackDown, Impact Wrestling. I don't even care about main event because that really is irrelevant. So, that's how I am. Now, if you guys want to know my favorite finishers, uh, my rivalries and all that stuff, my favorite moments of wrestling, just ask. Um, I'll do the best I can to be as good as I can like everyone else, I know. Um, so, uh, let me get to my favorite finishers. Stone Cold Stunner, um, RKO, Diamond Cutters, obviously a modify is almost exactly the same as the RKO, but my favorite is, I guess I'm being biased again, the Sharpshooter and the Scorpion Deathlock are pretty much the same identical moves because they are the same. But, you know, being a Sting fan, you know, what you need to know about me, I'm, I'm kind of biased here because Sting's my favorite wrestler, but there you go. You know, the Sharpshooter is great. But my favorite submission, period, is the Texas Clover Leaf. Now, Dean Malenko, formerly of WCW, he did that in the ring, as well as Sheamus now does it on occasion. But that's my favorite submission. My favorite, you know, on, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Ace Crusher, that was actually the stunner, but without the kick, I think. It's just, it's just, it's an ECW move. He does it by the shoulder, but without the gut kick. So, you know, that was good. I like that. That's from ECW, by the way. Um, my favorite rivalries, real quick, are Sting and Hogan, Hart and, um, Michaels, Bret Hart, and, um, you know, Bam Bam Bigelow at WrestleMania 10 against Doink the Clown. That had to be one of the most fierce rivalries because, I mean, you had a mixed tag between Dink and um, Luna Fashan, obviously, in the tag match. And the man on a mission was a, gr of a great uh, stable. I like that. Uh, the Quebecers. Of course, I never really got to see the Quebecers exactly. Um, a best, One of the best matches of all time, the ladder match between Razor Ramon and, and uh, Shawn Michaels with uh, outside interference of Diesel, Big Daddy Cool. And then uh, some other, you know, some gimmicks that I like that were kind of like just for show, you know, Repo Man, goofy, funny, ridiculous, but not really a successor. Um, tugboat, you know, what, you know, you know, there you go. And then uh, some other ones, uh, you know, um, who am I forgetting here? Uh, oh yeah, you know, you got Rat. Uh, there was uh, Mortis from WCW. Uh, La Parka, the chairman, and, uh, you know, and by the way, um, you know, 
every organization that we've ever seen or heard of. I mean, there are just many things that we have to see. And we have memories of each thing. And as much as I love what I love about wrestling in the past, we have to evolve into the future. So here I am with a brand new page and a brand new video, basically my number one video now. And I'm here to say, you're welcome. Um, by the way, Damian Sandow is epic. And also some of the new talents. Dean Ambrose is awesome and all that kind of stuff. So I want to hear what everyone has to say. Um, I'll post a video in a couple days. I don't know when I get to. I got school and stuff. College material, you know how it is. So um, I just want to get this in there. And uh, I want to hear what you have all have to say. Um, and try not to be judgmental, please. Just, you know, be, you know, whatever. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. This is the new place to be on YouTube. As you can see in my world title in the back. Hey, man, I'm going to show off. All right? So like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll chat with you soon. This is Old School 94 Icon. And but one last thing. That's when I started watching wrestling. You know, WCW, ECW, WWE, WWF, you know, TNA Wrestling. It's all there. I love it all. All right? Awesome. I'll chat with you guys soon. And uh, I hope to hear from you. And uh, tell you, I mean, again, man, um, I'm going to do the best I can to please y'all. I can't promise that I'll be perfect here, but I'm going to do what I can. All right? So check with you later, guys. Peace.